Hey Dean. How hot is it? What does my face tell you? That we're desert rats. And we're used to it. Really? Because I feel like I'm sweating balls. <laughs> What's up, booze? What's up? So today, we're going on another adventure. This time, it's an adventure about hot chicks and dead kids. Legit. And Jay, why don't you tell us where we're going? We're going to San Carlos Hotel, dude. Where is San Carlos Phoenix, Hotel? Arizona. Phoenix, Arizona. All right, so this place was built on the original foundation, the first school in Phoenix, Arizona. So that means we got a whole bunch of dead kids on our hands. Yeah, and I'm gonna get them dead kids to attack me because that's what I do best. But wouldn't you rather the hot blonde attack you? Mm -mm, hot blondes! <laughs> yeah! So the school was built back in 1874 and it was condemned in 1919 due to poor health Due to the devil. No, false news. <laughs> Due to poor health conditions for Fake the poor news. Child, children. Because uh, it happened during the Spanish flu. So in 1999, it was bought out by Bruce Babbitt. Yes, b b b Babbitt. Babbitt. Then which was bought out by construction company back in 1927. And that, my friends is where we get the Carlos Hotel. Now, where the hot blonde comes in is back hot in blonde. May 7th, 1928. Leona Jensen plummeted to her... <laughs> PG! <laughs> PG! Plummeted to her death after being abused by her boyfriend. Her death, sucker! Her death! She was only 22 years old. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go try to get this girl and say, hey, boo, listen, we love. So other than Leona, there's also a rumored little girl that walks the halls. So. That's our ghost baby. That's our ghost baby. San Carlos, do us good. Peace. Peace out. <laughs> Oh, shit. Oh. Well, I was just taking some B-roll. The chandelier's moving. It's way to high. I accidentally tap it. Weird. All right, booze, we made it to San Carlos and we're about to go into our room. 301. Oh now, shit, look, my stuff is 
is already here. <laughs> I was just supposed to say, oh, um, obviously we've already checked in. We came and check out the room, went outside to take some B-roll. But check how quaint this little room is. You better not turn on in the middle of the night. Or you better. We're gonna be snugging up close. Sister Layla. Look at this. Look at this teeny tiny bathroom. The best thing in this room is what? 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 Oh. The view. <laughs> Pull the crane back. <laughs> but think about it. This is the perfect place to see whenever, you know, I don't know. It'd be really cool if you're parkour. Yeah. I mean, there's a ladder! <gasps> oh. oh, shit. I'm going to find that ladder outside, dude. This is not alleyway. Hey. I'm sitting in the bathroom and I keep hearing knocking next to me. It comes in spurts of three or four. been going off about 20 minutes. Yeah, tell the camera what's going on. Oh, I just did a selfie thing in the bathroom. I know, but this is like better recording. <laughs> Okay, so we're in 301, and for the, about the last, let's say, 20 minutes, ever since we came back from dinner, basically, we keep hearing knocks coming from the room next to us. It comes in spurts of three or four. When we first started hearing them, they were frequent, and then it stopped for a little bit, and then uh, I was sitting in the restroom for a little bit, and I heard it again, turned on my phone, tried to capture it, but I couldn't. I heard very faint ones, I don't even know if my phone caught it. But we're gonna go downstairs and talk to the lobbyist, or receptionist, and see if there's someone staying in room 303. Or did you want to... No, we just wanna see if there's someone next to us because there's a lot of knocking. Okay, so your room next to you, there's a lot of knocking? Yeah, like okay, it yeah, sounds like, like someone's um, either doing work in there or it's... It sounds kind of like a hammer, so we just wanted to know if anybody was staying. Okay, um... Or if it's empty, because that'd be kind of wicked if it were empty. continuous knocking from it. Like we don't have a problem with that. Like we tried knocking back. <laughs> <laughs> um, but that's really cool if there's nobody in there and there's knocking.
go up to the fourth floor and see if there's actual construction going above us. Because that would make a lot more sense than a ghost repeatedly knocking on the wall. So obviously we're at floor four. I don't hear anything. You want to check floor five? Floor five doesn't affect this. You don't think so? Mm -hmm. You want to see what on um, floor two maybe? All right. We don't have issues opening doors. No, something was pushing it back. Really? Yes. Because look. Oh, wow. It's not hard. Watch. Open it and close it. It's not hard to open and close. Is that you? like someone pushed the door closed. That's what I'm saying. That's really weird. Do you think it's that thing on top? No. Because that stops it from slamming closed. It doesn't do the same thing to open it. Here, go on the other side. Try opening it again. Proof that I'm not holding it closed. Did it do it that time? No. We're going down to floor two, see if there's construction going on below us. Second floor. Governors. Guys, guys, these aren't even rooms. No construction. No construction. The second floor? They're not even rooms. So. Okay, so. I guess it's paranormal. Because they are doing construction up on the what? What floor did we go to? That was on the. That was on the other side, wasn't it? Mm hmm. Like that was on the far side. Okay, so guys, this is where the construction was. Yeah, I was all the way back in this room. construction over here but that's on the other side because our room's way over there on the uh, uh, on the story above us above where we are right now I legit don't know what the heck is going on this this thing business there This door isn't closing. Oh, I don't want to be here. 
is almost 10 degrees cooler in here. lights aren't working. Oh, this is so creepy. Okay. Okay. So I don't know if you guys know it, but I'm incredibly, incredibly scared. It's dark. I'm gonna try to turn my light on. Hold on. Okay. Just the bathroom. Is this door locked? Yep. And I really don't want to be in here, so I'm not gonna stick around for too long. <laughs> nice gym. I don't know. Oh, guys, I'm so scared. Oh. I'm just expecting to turn around and see something I really don't want to see. <sighs> nice equipment, though. You can't see it. The grass glass is way too dirty. Alright. not getting any good feeling in there whatsoever. So I'm just going to leave that alone. Okay, I had to turn my light off, so emergency exit. That was a whimper or something. Oh, that's super close. And I wasn't about to stick around. I'm going back to D because oh, my anxiety spiked in that fitness room. And then I heard that. And I'm like, nope. <laughs> okay. What's up? So we're done for the night. Yeah. We got some good footage. We had some cool experiences. I mean, the walls in the bathroom fell apart. Um, there's creepy crawling sounds in the vent above the bathroom. Um, there was some <clears throat> morning ghosts in the hallway. Yeah, morning ghosts in the hallway. Uh, creepy. Uh, fitness room. Serious. <laughs> Seriously. And there's knocking on the walls. We're tired, guys. It's like 2.30. So... We're out for the night. It was a good experience. Wish it would have been cooler. Hey, hey. Not every experience we're going to have is going to be totally nose bleeding awesome. <laughs> Sometimes we just get moaning ghosts. Yeah, moaning ghosts. Mm -hmm. But like and subscribe. Because we're badass. And we're sharing a queen. We're sharing a queen bed together. Because we're queens. And I'm stuck with her.
<laughs> I'm stuck with this. <laughs> There's nowhere for me to go. <laughs>